this um, madness, absolute madness, is, is a confession, right? The fact that feminists run to the government saying, well, you've got to force employers to pay women more, and women go along with it, means that they know that they're not worth more. Because if they were worth more, they would negotiate for that, and they would, they would get that, right? They would understand that. Now, because women are worth less in the marketplace as a whole, and it's not just parenthood, we'll get into that in a second. But women, again, on average, right? Women on average are worth less in the, uh, uh, in the marketplace. And uh, they don't like that because they've got very high sexual market value, particularly when they're young, and they want high economic value as well as high sexual market value because, you know, for a woman to want the best of everything and every contradiction unraveled in her favor, not exactly unknown to female nature. <laughs> and, you know, there's corruption on the male side as well, military industrial complex, hello. But we're just talking about women at the moment. It's a, it's a confession. It's a pure confession that they know they're not worth that much, but they don't want to admit it to themselves and they don't want to admit it to others. Because you see, my friend, if women admit that they're not worth as much economically as men on average, do you know what they have to say to men? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, men, for working so hard, for building this great civilization, for creating offices, for creating air conditioning, for creating things that I can type on rather than chainsaws I have to use to cut down giant boobab trees and hopefully not impale three other women standing in its shadow. Thank you for building running water. Thank you for heating. Thank you for roofs. I've never seen a woman putting a roof <laughs> together in my life. Oh no, there's a power outage. Who's going up to the frozen tundra to <laughs> restore the power? It's going to be men. So women would actually have to thank men for what men do, right? I mean, men historically created labor-saving devices for women before they created life-saving devices for men. There were washing and drying machines on the market before there were masks to protect men from black lung down in the mines. They'd actually have to say thank you to men. And it used to be the case that women would say thank you to men. Um, and it's an old sort of cliche. It's, it's more modern now. I thank my wife for everything and, and what she does to keep this household running, to keep it all, it's, it's fantastic, it's magnificent, it's beautiful. And there's this old sort of cliche that if you don't thank your wife for dinner, that's a big problem. But does your wife thank you for going out to work and um, earning the money that lets her buy dinner? Well, that's hard. It's hard for women to thank men. I don't know if it's because of resentment. I don't know if it's because of hostility. I don't know if it be because it reveals a feeling of dependence. I don't, I don't know. But the idea that women would thank men for the benefits of civilization, which to a large degree were built and maintained and structured and staffed and all of that by men. Do you like flushing your toilet? <laughs> Not a lot of women down there working to make it happen, right? I mean, it's just the way it is. So I don't know why it became so impossible for women to thank men for what men do. And it, it's the kind of thing like, <laughs> you, 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 you'll miss us when we're not doing it. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. But um, this sentimentality and this hostility towards men has created a big problem because men wake up in the morning as disposable work objects for their families. It's just kind of how we're constituted. Um, not all men, but I think it's a pretty common feeling. And it's the division between women handling inside of the house, men handling outside of the house, that kind of stuff, right? Because weather and machinery and so on. But what's happened is because men are not only not thanked, but scorned. Oh, you only built the society so you could like oppress us. Oh, you only bought, you only built air conditioning so you can see my nipples go bing, <laughs> right? Sorry, there's a visual for those who are just listening. Um, You'll never get to unsee that. But um, uh, no, there's no, right? Oh, you, you only built cars which let us travel further than we could in, otherwise in high heels because you just like cruising around and picking us up and right, all that kind of stuff. So there is this idea that civilization is oppressive to women. <laughs> yeah, right. Because in pre-civilization, it's just wonderful for everyone. Um, so men aren't being thanked. And this 
well, we're, we're worth less than men. And rather than saying thank you, men, for being more economically valuable and creating all of this wonderful stuff and, and working harder and so on, thank you, men, rather than saying that because they're worth economically less than men, which is kind of nature's way of saying who should stay home along with the aforementioned feedbacks. But rather than saying to men, thank you for creating the wealth that sustains this society and creating the technology which makes this society so pleasant to live in and so on, they say, ah, patriarchy, misogyny, it's unjust, it's unfair, and we're going to have the government rip money out of men's wallets and hand it to women because men are just horrible. <sighs> you only invented hospitals so that we wouldn't die in childbirth so you could save on funeral costs, you oppressors. <laughs> it's madness. And men are giving all these gifts to women and patooey, patooey, patooey. Ah. <laughs> men, men, men receive hugs from women like <laughs> Harrison Ford receives lightsabers. But it is a, um, it's a mess. And like all situations which are swung way too far one way, men are just disengaging. Oh, if my presence is so oppressive to you, so oppressive to you, if my romantic interest to you is creepy and rapey, and if me going out to work hard to build up a nest egg to help my family grow in peace and security, if that's patriarchal oppression, kachingo, bing bing, I am getting off the train and loitering around on the porn and video game station. And, um... Yeah, that's and that can be sustainable for a while, I suppose, right? If um, if women um, who 